Do you know what the most popular internet search was last year? I'll tell you one thing, it wasn't Jesus. Hang on for just a few minutes and I'll give you the answer to my original question. What would it take for Jesus to reach number one on the top 10 list of things people search on the internet? What if he were to come back? You know, he said 2000 years ago when he left that he is going to come back. Would you be interested in his return? Are you interested in his return? Are you interested in him? What would it take for you to be interested in Jesus Christ? I'll tell you the answer to the question. The most searched phrase last year in the world was World Cup. I've never searched for the phrase World Cup until today. Actually, when I saw it on the top of the list, I was like, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's soccer, but I better search it just to make sure. See, I didn't play soccer when I was in uh, school, when I was growing up. I played basketball and I watched American football, but I had no interest in soccer. But when I became a father, a couple of my kids got involved with soccer. And so my interest level in soccer began to grow a little bit. What if my son or daughter or maybe one of my grandchildren got so good at soccer that they got to play for the World Cup? Suddenly I would be very interested. What would it take for you to be very interested in Jesus Christ? Sports is really not that important. And yet, it seems to be something that is common in the world, brings people together. 3.5 billion people watched Muhammad Ali light the Olympic torch in 1996. 3.5 billion people. That's a lot of people to be interested in one sporting event. Let me tell you why you should be interested in Jesus Christ. One of these days, you're gonna meet him and you are going to answer to him for whether or not you believed his word or you didn't. So do you believe his word? 2,000 years ago, Jesus died on a Roman cross. It was a cruel and unfair death that he endured. Oh, I know he volunteered for it. He's the eternal son of God. Nothing surprised him. He came to this earth to die. But he died on that Roman cross and he was raised from the dead and he has gone back to heaven to be with his father. And he said, I will be coming back. And he is coming back. And you better be ready for it. I'm ready for it. I have placed my faith in Jesus Christ. He is my savior. He is my Lord. I have apologized to him sincerely for my violations of his commands. I'm trusting him. He promised to forgive me if I would come to him. And so I know that I'm his child and I will be happy to see him someday. Will you be happy to see him? Will he know you when he sees you? Have you accepted him as your Lord and Savior? This is a big deal. If you have never expressed an interest in who Jesus is and what he's done for you, the time is now for you to get into the Bible and find out who he is and why it matters to you.